WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with David White at TFNN. Uh, right now, we're up on fairly light volume, about uh, three quarters of a percent on the S&P. I'm looking for the latest uh, volume here. Let's see if we can't dig that up. But, uh, well, if that's right, 6.7. We must have picked up a lot in the last hour. Uh, or even 15 minutes, because we were fairly light through about 1 o'clock. And I haven't been watching it closely since then. Anyway, up 1.16% uh, 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 on the NASDAQ. Dow's up uh, eh, four-tenths of a percent. Uh, gold's up uh, about a quarter. Crude's up uh, 3%, which is kind of the big mover. A um, lot of discussion uh, from uh, crude and energy, of course, in front of the OPEC plus uh, meetings and discussions. So we'll see about that. Um, markets kind of pushed up on light volume. I suspect uh, we'll have uh, some fireworks tomorrow morning uh, as we get uh, econ news around 830 in the morning. Until then, uh, I think it's a lot of people uh, making a lot of guesses. Uh, of course, today is options uh, delta neutral day. That is when option market makers get into the last eight uh, trading days of uh, monthly and um, sometimes uh, 30, 60 and 90 day options outstanding. Uh, they decide to hedge those bets out and go delta neutral. Uh, the idea is that uh, they lock in whatever profits are there and are more than willing just to accept uh, whatever the decay is in the options between now and then. Um, so, you know, worst case, they break even. Uh, best case, maybe they make uh, a lot of money on the decay in the last eight days of the uh, options. Uh, and it's kind of like a battery where uh, you get the four, uh, three year, four year battery warranty. And no matter what, uh, you get the last uh, year of that and uh, you get like $20 off of a $150 battery or something. It's not much, but they uh, they protect that money fairly well. Anyway, uh, we'll have a lot more on that in the show in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 